Hi magical creatures, oh, welcome back. So today I have a huge Harry Potter haul for you. Amazing, right? That's what I do on this channel. I love Harry Potter stuff and I love shopping for it and hauling it just for you. So let's get to it. Okay, so I hope that you can see everything. It's pretty dark and gloomy here in England and it's raining. So if you hear any pitter patter in the background, that's what it was or is. But I hope that you can see everything. I do have my light on, but it's going to glare, so it might be going up and down. So just be prepared. But anyway, the first items I have are from the Department of Magical Gifts in Cambridge. It is this tiny little store that has some really cool things. Some things I've seen before, some things I haven't. They do sell Noble Collection stuff, which I do like. Um, the Noble Collection store in London is amazing. Uh, that's one of my favorite places on earth. My favorite store, I think. Even more than... Primark, and I really love Primark, but the Noble Collection Store is awesome, so if you can make it to one, I highly suggest it. But anyway, back to the Department of Magical Gifts. I found some really cute things in there. Um, I'll insert some pictures of some cute things that I didn't get, but I thought were unique. I haven't seen other places, or maybe I have, I don't know, but I thought they were cute, so I will insert a few pictures. But um, the things I did get, I got this chocolate frog prop and I'm going to take it out of the box so you can see it and not get a glare. But I've seen these a couple places, um, but I thought they were really cute. I paid 19 pounds for this, but let's, let's try to open it. Ooh. I love the chocolate frogs. I did get one when I was in Universal and they're so good and chocolatey. So we get to the box and this is like, it's metal, it's metal, it's not plastic. You get your frog and I thought this was gonna be plastic but he is gooey. Like he might stick to a window, like one of those window clings. You get to under the frog, you get your bottom stand and you also get of course, your card and this one is Elvis Dumbledore so that's awesome and it's kind of like um, a 3d type of thing very cool and I'll probably just keep that in here I do have another chocolate frog card and I believe it is I don't think it's Diggory I'm not sure who it is I can't remember but anyway so you put that there Pull your little frog, and you have this. Now, I might keep the plastic thing for it so that the lid will kind of stay open on the frog, but if you put it all the way down, it's kind of like this. It's pretty flat. I got this, and this is from the Noble Collection. Very cute. I really like that. So, chocolate frog. The next thing I got is one of my most favorite things. I am so happy to get this. I'm not ex sure exactly how I'm going to display it, but it is the cup goblet shell thing um, that they use in the cave when Harry helps Dumbledore um, retrieve one of the Horcruxes. So I just love this. This is also a noble collection. It is just so cool. It's just resin, but it kind of looks like amethysty. I just really like this. It, it's neat. The only thing, you know, it, it is labeled. I wish kind of it didn't have that, um, but I can kind of prop it where you can't see that. So I'll have to find some kind of little stand for it to sit like this, but I love it. I just love all the detail. Look at that, like air destiny. This is very cool. I really like this. I like unique things that you don't really see or you forget they have. Um, one thing I really want from the Noble Collection is Mad-Eye Moody's little pumpkin flask thing. It looks so cool. I really like it. I'll try to insert a picture up here. It just is so cool. I really want that. It's on my wish list. You can order stuff online as well, so I'll link that link below for the Noble Collection store online. Um, I believe they ship worldwide but I'm not 100% sure, so if you want, you can go check that out. So I've got a couple other things. This was found at a random store. It is this owl wand. Now, I know it is not Harry Potter at all, but it's Harry Potter 
esque to me. Um, I really like it. It is resin. It's got a lot of detail. It's got some weight to it. And I just found it very neat. It also has some ruins in it. Or maybe it's letters. I'm not 100%. I think it says Artemis. Now, what that means, I don't know. So if you've seen these and you know exactly what they are, let me know. It didn't come in a box. It was just kind of like at this little store that sold a lot of random like England, Harry Potter, Game of Thrones stuff. And it was just kind of displayed in there. They didn't have any boxes left. So I don't know what company this came from, what brand or anything, but I just thought it was really cute and I'm going to have to display it with my other wands because it's adorable. Now I wish it was more of a white owl, but any owl will do. So that is that. I think I paid 10 pounds for this. Oh, I forgot to say the goblet I think was around 60 pounds. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it was around 60 pounds. But worth it if you are a collector and you like to display your things. Um, I do have a bookshelf that has all my stuff on it. But again, I'm a collector. So again, this wand, I think I paid about nine pounds for it, nine or 10 pounds. The next thing I got is this tea for one set. I just love this so much. I was gonna buy one while I was here in England um, because I do enjoy tea and I wanted something. Um, I didn't want a big teapot because it's just me that drinks it so the tea for one is perfect because you get your teapot and you get your cup. Now this is the box that originally came in. You can find these um, multiple places but I found it online and it's a company called Merchoid. I will leave the link down below. I paid, it's not going to tell me, I think I paid 25 pounds for this, um, but I just love it. It is, see, I don't want it to get too dark. You're still going to get glare no matter what from the window. It's got uh, the Hogwarts crest on one side. It says Devonations on the other side. It's just a normal teapot on top. The bottom cup has um, wands, it's got lightning bolts, it's got glass um, crystal balls, it's very cool. And on the inside, you also have your grim. So I just love that. It is licensed merch. Um, I use this all the time, almost daily. So this is my favorite teacup. I do have so many other Harry Potter slash Halloween mugs in my collection, but I love my teapot. So the next couple things I got, I've got a lot of random mystery boxes. A couple things that I haven't seen, um, like I haven't seen these wand ones, the mystery wands. Um, these are the back, by the Backpack Buddies, um, which I've had a couple of those. I paid five pounds for this, as you can see, and you get multiple different chances for wands, so I'm excited to open that. I also got one of the little Funko things, um, but this is, what series is this? It's a new series that I haven't seen before yet. I hate that they don't always tell what these are. Or what series it is it might say on the inside it just says Funko I'm not sure but the options on the back are here and I haven't seen these because you know you got your Florida Delacour you have um Rita Skeeter which I thought was cool Mad-Eye Moody so I'm really hoping for some of these um, unique ones down here Flitch would be cool um, Flora so I'm really hoping I get something cool in this. Um, I also got a couple more of the mystery wands. Now, if you've watched my videos before, I have opened a couple of these and I got Hagrid and I think I got Ron. I'm not sure who I got. But anyway, I'll link that video right up here so you can watch that. Um, 
But I'm not going to open these today. I'll open these in a separate video because I might collect a couple more before I do um, a um, mystery box unboxing. So that's those. Oh, and this one is a different series. So that's why I got these from the series I got before. Um, fuck. Sorry, part of my language. Um, but I haven't seen these ones before. Um, or they're not in the, the series that I got before. So this one has like... You got Sirius's wand. Um, you got Victor Crumb. You got Hermione, Alistair Moody, Dumbledore's Newt Scamander, Remus Lupin. You got Harry Potter. So I thought that these were cool. So yes, we will open those later. On to the next couple things. Now I have some hair. Uh, Primark stuff, but I think I'll do those in a separate haul. Um, they're kind of holiday-ish, so I will do a haul maybe after this one, um, and I'll do it separately so that you can go to Primark and get those certain things. And the next couple things I got are some books. Um, this one is The Wizarding World Movie Magic, um, Volume 3, and this is by Walker Books. I got this at WH Smith. Um, it says $19.99 on it, but I think I paid £15 or £12. So I'm pretty sure I got it on sale, but I just love these type of books. They have stuff on, like, they are interactive. Let's pull, let's open up a couple pages. Sorry. Um, I just like the books that are interactive. Um, they always have, um, like flyers in them, little postcard things that you can take out. Like this is um, Newt's little drawing of his magical creatures. Um, this is an application for your wand permit. Like it just has some really cool things that you don't normally see. Um, some posters or flyers. Um, just some really cool stuff that I like. You got a Hogwarts letter in here. Um, this book goes through Harry Potter and the Fantastic Beast. Um, so you have your Daily Prophet with Rita Skeeter. And this one also comes with a portrait of Dumbledore in the back that you can take out and display. Now I already have one of these, so I'm not going to take it out. Um, but yeah, I just love these books and how interactive they are. They are so fun to look at. Um, I've thought about doing, with some of the books that I have, I thought about doing a flip through, but I don't know if are going to be interested in that so if you are let me know down below um i thought it would be really cool to do that so if you didn't want to buy the book but you wanted to see it i mean if you're not a huge harry potter fan like and some people just like to look at books once i read and look at books multiple times so i like that so if you're interested in a flip through let me know down below leave a comment um i love hearing from you guys and i don't have a whole lot of followers so i don't hear a whole lot but when i do i really like it so let me know down below so this is the wizarding world movie magic volume three by walker books and i have one more big bad boy it's so heavy filling up the whole top of my cart now this is the art um, of Harry Potter. I got this at Asda. It is a 32 pound book, but I got it for 10 pounds with the on clearance. So if you are in England, you are close to an Asda, you might want to go check it out. I just got this a couple weeks ago, but yeah, for 10 pounds, this book is huge. It is so heavy. Um, on the back, it actually says it retails for 50 pounds. Um, but on average, I usually pay about 25 pounds for like the bigger books like this um, or $30 um, just depending but this book is really cool I like it um, I do art myself so I, I like that aspect of all the paintings it gives you um, there's posters in here um, it also gives you sketches of you know the set sketches and what they thought like when they were you know trying to visualize things I just thought it was really cool. I really like it. And this would be an awesome flip through if you guys are interested. It would, it would take some time, but it is awesome. It's way big and heavy. This, I think, is the biggest, heaviest Harry Potter book that I have. Um, I have a few, but I definitely think that this is the biggest. So 
Again, I'll kind of run through these things real quick. I got this big book from ASDA. Again, it is on clearance or sale, however you want to say it, for 10 pounds. So if you want this book, go look for it at your local ASDA. I, again, I got this movie magic book from WH Smith. I paid about 12 to 15 pounds for it. It does retail for around 20, but they always have sales on these books. So this one is volume three. I also got um, my tea for one. Again, this is about 25 pounds. I ordered it online, but I have seen it, now that I've ordered it, I have seen it other places. So I will, again, link that link below for that. I got my owl wand that is just random, again, at a random store. Um, it does say Artemis on it, so maybe it has to do with Artemis Fowl. I'm not 100% sure because I haven't read those books, but if you do know, let me know in the comments below. I paid about 10 pounds for this. Again, it's pretty heavy. It's got some weight, and it is very cool. Um, my favorite thing of the haul is uh, my cup. My shell cup, I love this. This is, again, I think it was around 60 pounds. They did run a sale that day. I think it was like their one year anniversary, so I got 10% off of these things. That's why I got the more expensive item that I've been kind of lusting after. This, again, is the Noble Collection, and I will link the Noble Collection down below because they have amazing things. Amazing things. And their prices really aren't that bad for what they are. Some things are like, ugh, that's expensive. But other things you're like, wow, that, that's reasonable. So, again, look for that. And last but not least, my little chocolate frog. It is so cute. I just love it. He's all jelly. Burp, 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 burp. Oh, and I forgot the... I got my mystery boxes, but I'll do that in a separate video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you get more videos just like this. Bye.